and in this video I'm going to tell you some fun facts about Macau and why you should visit. So recently I went to an event organised by the Macau Tourism Board and Traverse and it made me realise that actually Macau's pretty damn cool and I thought I know, I'll do a quick video about some quirky facts about Macau and um, pretty much do a quick overview about the actual event I went to. So I actually have been to Macau before but it was just for a stag do with um, my cousins and a bunch of friends and I must admit we didn't see too much about Macau. What we ended up doing was just stay in a hotel, go to the hotel casino and actually play video games in a hotel room. Yeah, we're quite geeky people like that. It turns out I missed out on loads of the stuff that Macau has to offer which I need to rectify after going to this event. So if you actually have no interest in an event itself then there's a link in the description that you can click on to jump straight to the facts. So the event itself was organised by Traverse in collaboration with the Macau Tourism Board and it was just really really good actually showcasing to some of the highlights of Macau that somebody like me who's actually been but didn't really know about the actual cool stuff in Macau I uh, got to know a little bit more about Macau that night. One of the most amazing things about the night is that they actually had a chef cooking some Macanese absolute classics and it was pretty amazing. Whenever you get a fusion mix of Chinese and something else it can be only a good thing. And then on top of that there was also cocktail making and randomly I saw a book about Bloody Marys which I hadn't known there were so many different types of Bloody Marys I must admit. There was also a whole bunch of immersive 360 videos and if you're a fan of 360 videos like me you should definitely check out some of my other videos on this channel. And then on top of that there was also an amazing acrobat performance and who doesn't like a good acrobat performance hey? It felt like a bit of a Cirque du Soleil type performance with their spinning lights. So let's start off with some basic information about Macau. Macau is actually located on the coast of China with a population of about 600,000 people. So if you're regular on this channel you know that I love my quirkier little facts so let's jump straight into it. Fact number one, it was the first and last European colony in China. So the Portuguese colonised Macau back in the 16th century and then gave it back around the same time as the British gave back Hong Kong. And because it was an old Portuguese colony, it's got this really nice mix of the Portuguese and the Chinese and makes it quite unique actually. Fact number two, there is a lot of gambling. Macau is known for a lot of casinos and it's the only place in China where it's actually legal to gamble and as such it takes in more money than Las Vegas. Fact 3, the historical centre is really really special. In fact it's been classified as having world heritage significance by UNESCO. You'll see a mix of different types of architectures with fortresses, churches and temples so if you're a fan of history then it's definitely a must see. So a quick thing, if you're liking this type of video where it's both informative as well as travel related then you should definitely hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification button. I'll be doing more of these type of videos as well as vlogs which are more of an informative style. Fact 4. It's a country with two names. There are actually two spellings for Macau. There's Macau and Macau. Historically it's known as Macau and then evolved over time to Macau but since the handover it's now reverted back to the original spelling. Both are officially recognised which is a little bit annoying sometimes when you're doing a hashtag and you end up using the wrong spelling like this guy did. Fact 5. The highest commercial bungee jump. So what's truly awesome is that you can actually do the world's biggest commercial bungee jump by jumping out of a TV tower. At 233 meters high, that's pretty damn high. So much so that it's actually been officially recognized by the Guinness World Records. And now for that special video that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Yep, that's it, I actually have done it and I must admit it was my first bungee jump and I was literally breaking it. And I also have a bit of a fear of heights so I was actually quite proud of myself when I managed to jump over and do the bungee jump and I definitely recommend everybody else to do it. So now I hope Macau is actually on your radar, it's a place of history, food, partying, it's quite a little bit of everything really and I, and I yeah, just can't really wait to get back to Macau. 
Um, I don't believe I've missed so much. So uh, yeah, hopefully at some point in the future when I'm in the area, you'll see a couple more videos about Macau. Thanks once again to Macau Tourism Board and the lovely, lovely people at Traverse for organising the night. It was bloody brilliant. And like any good travel event, it should really open your eyes to another world. And I hope you like those facts. Do let me know in the comments which one was your favourite fact. And I'll be returning quite soon with some more infotainment travel type videos, vlogs with some useful information that you can use. And hopefully, I'll see you at the next video. So recently, I actually went to the Macau Tourism Board. No, I didn't. I went to somewhere else. And I'll be returning quite soon with some more travel infotainment. Whoopsie.